if I'm um, uh, strung with uh, wire and it's nice and tight uh, with the edges fed through and uh, terminated on on these wires as per shown in the previous brief video <coughs> then all you need is a sheet of foundation which uh, slots into this groove there yeah, so you insert that into into the groove right along like so then you just want to make sure that the spacing at each edge is about centered and then uh, all you need, this is what I use, this is my little trick uh, you just need a piece of wire with some clippers I stripped one end of the wire like so and that I connect to just a small little compact battery jumper leads like this so the black will go on black and the red will go on red and I'll show you the next step shortly so one thing to be aware of is this cable coming in from the battery pack needs to have contact yeah so you need to make sure that it does touch the bottom uh, connector yeah, just in case you I don't know uh, if it happens that your insulation touches the top bit and just the bottom clamp is is touching you will not get your your electricity flowing so it must the, the piece of wire must be touching the top top of the clamp there so make sure that you've got contact in there and grab your red one do the same thing for that one again taking note of where the bottom cable comes in making sure that the bottom side of the clamp has contact make sure they don't touch so you don't get a short circuit there <coughs> set that aside uh, turn the battery pack on and with your two clamps now you should be able to see sparks if you touch That means that there's a current flowing through. And then as these are connected, these wires, there's one, two, and three. Look, I've tried doing from one side and then touching the other, uh, which should heat up all four wires. I found that to be, um, to take a bit too long. So what I do is I clamp the middle, middle wire, and I do it twice, yeah? Good, get a good contact happening there. Then you just simply, Try and get a better view. Simply touch the wire here just a few times, which heats up the the wire. You can see it coming through right there. Oh. You can see how it melts through. I'll show you on the next one. So I might just put that to the side a little bit. Right there, <coughs> get a focus. Okay, and then as we touch this, you'll see the sparks come out, and you'll see the wire here come through as it's heating up, which embeds the wax. can see that it is holding nicely now I'll show you from the other side see how the wax comes through and just grips the wire that's what you're looking for so it's nicely this is a perfect piece right there so it embeds it but not all the way through but just enough to hold it firmly 
in its place. And that's it. It's a nice, perfect, strong, very sturdy frame with foundation, wired and ready to go into your hive. Uh, staples on the side, strong eyelets, two nails to hold the, hold the wires to tension it, uh, two staples on the sides to hold these little knobs, nail there, nail through this side, nail through that side to make sure that uh, uh, when you're pulling upwards on this frame, as you're pulling out the, the heavy, heavy honey and the frame outwards, it these nails coming sideways through the sides prevent it from coming up. I mean, many a times you just see the frames come up and, you know, the rest of the honey frame was left inside your hive. It's not, not great because it makes it a messy job thereafter. So there it is. And uh, next one, ready to go. And you keep going until you have, in this box, eight or ten frames and just keep going and going until it's all done. Hope you like the process. If it helped you or made your life a little easier, that's fantastic. We like to hear that. If you have other suggestions or if you feel that um, there's better ways to do it, which I'm, I'm sure there is many, many ways. People have rigs and, um, you know, um, ways to make tens of these at a time. Uh, this is just for a small time beekeeper, um, you know, backyard beekeeper that would like to create frames at home simply without having to buy a whole lot of tools. So if this helped in any way, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and um, hopefully we'll see you in the next videos. See you then. Bye. And uh, this is how it looks. So this is the clear, no cinnamon. This is just uh, going to add a little bit more cinnamon to make it a bit more flavoursome. So, I don't know, it's, it depends how much you like cinnamon, but I'd say uh, about a teaspoon per kilo is, is plenty.